Hello all. Welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to explain what exactly are these dynamic tables. So let's get started. Before I show you how to automate these dynamic tables, let me in this session explain what exactly are these dynamic tables. So here is an example website page where there's a dynamic table, okay? So let's go to this website page so that I can show you what exactly is a dynamic table and how does it behave and uh, how it is different from the static table, okay? So let me open this browser and uh, open this application URL and uh, you'll be taken to this page where you have to give the credentials. The credentials are same, guys, always. That is demo, demo, it's open. Open credentials, these are open credentials. Anyone can use it. Just type demo, demo and click on login button on this application. It will take you to this uh, page. Just ignore all these notifications and all. And uh, you just need to click on the sales option on the left side. And when you click on sales, you'll get these orders. Select these orders and you'll be presented with a dynamic table. Why I'm calling this as a dynamic table, let me explain. It's not a static table, guys, okay? For example, if I take you to this omaya.blogspot.com, on this application page, there's a table, which is a static table. Because why I'm calling this particular table as a static means, these records are not going to change their order. Kishore is going to be there in the first place. Manish is going to be the second place. I mean, no matter what, today, today you see, the Kishore will be in the same place. Tomorrow also you see, the Kishore will be in the same place, okay? This records will be there in the same place, okay? And no updates are going to happen for this table. That's why this table is a static table. But in real time, most of the cases you will come across the uh, dynamic tables, not static tables, okay? Handling the static tables is very easy because the order will not change, okay? The records will be like that only, the data will be like that only, the headings will be like that only. There will not be any modifications done on the table. Tomorrow also the same table will be there. After one week also the same table will be there on this web page. After one month also the same, one year also same table will be there on this web page. No changes will be there on the, will be done to this static tables. These are very static. They are not going to change. But unlike static tables, dynamic tables are something different where, okay? So this is orders table. And uh, this application, whatever you have seen is a backend of the application, okay? There's one more front end application. For example, if you go to this amazon.com or amazon or Flipkart kind of applications, right? You go to this amazon.com, et cetera, right? The front end of the application, okay? This amazon.com is a front end. Whatever the orders are being placed, right? They will go into the backend. Okay, they'll be listed, they'll be tracked in the backend, like that, okay? There's a front end where the real users will come and, you know, place some orders. So those order details are coming in the store in the backend, okay? The front end people cannot see who, who else are placing some orders. I even don't know, like, okay? If I go to amazon.com, I don't know how many users are placing the orders at this moment, I don't know. So for uh, checking or seeing whether uh, who are placing the orders, I need to have some admin permissions, right? Admin kind of uh, backend kind of application should be there like this. Okay, there's a backend application where there is a table. So what is the front end of this particular backend of backend part of the application or administration section of this application? For finding the uh, front end, just type open cart here, press enter, and you'll be taken to this, uh, you'll, in the Google search results, you'll get open cart. Click on that link, and uh, here you'll see view demo. Click on that view demo, and uh, it will present you two things, store front and administration. This is a front thing. And this is a bad thing. That means whatever the orders that are being placed by the real users in the storefront are tracked in the backend. Okay, in the administration, uh, with administration credentials, if you log into this application, right, you will see who, who is placing the orders on this website. Okay, like that, it is there. In the table, the dynamic table is there in the backend part. That is the administration part of the website. Whereas this is a place where, you know, you can place orders and uh, we can see their effects here. Okay, so let's go to the storefront and... Uh, Okay, let me click on the store front and I'll take in here. And here I'll click on this iPhone. Okay, I'll click on this iPhone. I'll place an order here. Okay, let's say I'll place an order here. Uh, some account is already there with me. I uh, already have created an account or, you know, this account is already there. I just now created an account, okay, before this session started. So let's say I have this credit. If you don't have an account, go to here. Okay, if you don't, uh, I'll copy this uh, email. Okay, So let's log out. So if uh, in the front end, if you don't have the uh, account, uh, just go to the register and uh, give the details and try, try to create. Uh, since I already have created the account, I'll directly log in. In your case, you have to create the account and try to log in, okay? I'll paste the email and I'll paste the password that I have mentioned and click on the login button. I'm getting logged in, right? That's fine. After getting logged in, what I want to do is I want to place an order. I'll go to the homepage here. I'll select this iPhone. One, one order I'll place. You see, 
before I place the order, where is Gaurav Singh record available? Before I, you see, when I'm recording this session, we have this Gaurav Singh, but tomorrow this Gaurav Singh may not be visible to you because a lot of people will be placing the order in this application in the front end, okay? This keeps on going. So for now, anyhow, uh, when I am recording this session, the Gaurav Singh is in the second place. Gaurav Singh is in the second record, you see? First record, second record, second row. Now, as another user, okay, from the front end, intentionally I'm placing an order to see how the dynamic, how this particular table is dynamic. Gaurav Singh is not always going to be in second place. It, it may change its position because it's not a static table. It's a dynamic table, which keeps say, changing, okay? I'll say add to cart. I'll go to the shopping cart here and uh, I'll just change it to update one, 181 only. Check out and uh, here I want to use and all the stuff. That's okay. Here I'll select this uh, shipping rate and you know, I'll select this cash on delivery and confirm the order. I'm placing an order. Once I place the order, I'll come to this uh, administration part of this website, backend part of the application and refresh this and observe the table. Now you see my record got added here on the top. If tomorrow, if another person will do, this, this record will come down. Now, Gaurav Singh is no more there on the second place. It came to the third place. Okay, it came to the third place. That's the problem with this uh, dynamic XPath expression. These are dynamic XPath expressions, okay? So what is the problem during automation? What are the problems I'm going to cover in the next session, guys, okay? So, but for now you understood what are dynamic tables and what are static tables, right? If you go to this application and you see there is no, no changes going to happen on this table because this static table, it's going to be there like this is an information table only, okay? This is like an information table, which is not going to get updated. But, but in real time, we'll come across this kind of dynamic tables which keep updating. So hope guys, you understood what exactly are static tables and what exactly are dynamic tables and uh, how to automate how to automate static tables is already done as part of the previous sessions. Then how to automate the dynamic tables I'm going to cover in the next session. Okay. We'll go step by step from the next session onwards. So that's all for this session, guys. That's all for this session. In this session, I showed you what exactly are, uh, what are static tables and what are dynamic tables. Okay. What are static tables and what are dynamic tables I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.